what's going on guys it's your boy terry by reacts here and we are back and today we are doing a season ending super reaction for lelouch and then we're gonna jump into season two next week okay um lelouch of the rebellion man this anime has taken us we're at episode 21 we're gonna do five episodes today so it's gonna be a journey so hope you guys are ready for hit so i'm probably gonna do gonna be recording this in in five parts five separate parts um of five episodes um but i am i'm gonna be putting this on the google drive and also i'm gonna be putting this on bit shoot okay so make sure you check it out if you want to watch the whole thing at once and you don't want to do five separate episodes or i might just do three and then two okay the reason why i'm doing that is because i can't when i upload videos that are two hours or more or longer they don't process on the google drive for some reason so that's the reason why for my super reactions i have to split them up because it's not youtube i can't just upload a three hour video and let you watch it just off bat you know like what i did with ippo like season one season two so for this super reaction, what we're going to do is um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do three episodes and then I'm going to do two. So I'm going to put three into one and I'm going to put two by itself. And then um, if you want, if you can't watch it on the Google Drive, if you have problems, then you're going to have to wait a bit till I get it on BitChute. It's going to be available on the Google Drive first and then on BitChute later on. So if you want to wait to see the reaction, that's fine. And to watch the whole thing all together, then you can watch it on Bitchu. It will be a bit of a lower quality. It's not going to be 720. It will be 540p. So it won't be in HD, but it's still pretty good quality. Okay, so if you want to wait on that, it's not going to be a problem. I am working on a different solution to um, for this, which is to have a website where you guys can go. But I have to find a, a hosting site and also to have... Um, servers in place that when I upload my reactions um, there's gonna be absolutely no ads on this website so I don't have to worry about people coming after me talking about I'm making money off of them and all this other stuff off of their content which I'm not going to okay so there's not gonna be any ads on this website or anything like that trying to get you to buy anything or anything like that if I'm going to have a merch store it's gonna be a whole totally different website so um, um, and that's also in the works. So, but let's get into this reaction, man. Um, we have a great setup. I just want to go watch this. Now I'm going to do a review. We'll talk about this after. I'm going to review what happened in episode 20. Let's just go. If you guys have been keeping up, you should already know what's going on in the series. Let's go watch episode 21 through 25. And then we will do come back here and talk about the review. So. You guys know what time it is. Hit that like button and let's go watch this um, episode 21 through 25. All right. See you guys there. See you back here for the review. Click on that link. Yeah, let's talk about this. This was, uh, I don't, I don't know even how to start to do this review because these past five episodes, man, like the amount of questions that, and it looks like that was their intention of this anime is. For you to put yourself in the situation and ask what would you choose. Because at the end, at the end, nothing else mattered more than his sister. Which is like, if you have a bigger picture in mind of, you know, liberating Japan, whatever the situation is. Why is it when it comes down to it, you chose your sister, right? Right. I know that's the reason why he started to do this in the first place. 
um but at the same time it's 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 just like dude you're in a war you got these people into all of this and then you kind of left them to die on the battlefield because your sister was captured so what would you do in that situation what would i do in that situation i i really don't know because in that situation if she was kidnapped she's not being harmed you get what i'm saying like that's how my thinking is it's like okay she's been kidnapped i'm in the middle of a war right now i can deal with that after because if they kidnapped her if they took her that simple means that they're not having no intention of killing her you know what i'm saying so maybe vv did that to pull him away from the situation i don't know cc kissing him there um very fitting very fitting um their relationship was getting is getting very close so i can understand if she has feeling i don't know if she passed the power on to i don't know you know what i'm saying but it was very fitting it wasn't to me it wasn't forced because that relationship has been developing over the course of the season so it wasn't a surprise that she kissed him um it was more of you know this was bound to happen because they've been so close kind of living together experiencing everything together they basically they ride in a nightmare together you know what i'm saying so eventually i feel like the fact that even when they had they had that flashback you know in the last episode they had that because they they got trapped in the nightmare and the memories was flowing and she's she looked like she's been alive forever so she's a witch and he's like listen it doesn't matter you're not alone if you're a witch then not be a warlock you know what i'm saying so um and then all the surprises that happened man you the what happened with Yuffie? I mean, everything is so well organized and written in this anime that you it is so hard to find flaws. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why in my last reaction I was saying it's the first time I've, I found um, a flaw in the anime where I was saying, like, I feel like the relationship between Suzaku and Yuffie was forced, right? It's my only criticism throughout the whole season, which is absolutely um amazing because i usually you know find flaws which which shows that i watch and stuff like that you know and i found it to be like it's just like there's a couple of flaws that i found with with ippo um you know these animes are next to perfect they're next to perfectly written it's the first season and i understand you know as you go along things change but first seasons man to usually have that kind of impact um if they're if they have a great writer behind it and obviously this one this anime does which i really appreciate man it's a lot of questions and i love what they did there at the end right i love what they did there at the end is in questioning having you question yourself about right and wrong and basically putting the ball in your court to kind of get into Lelouch's mind and to understand Suzaku's perspective also you know what I'm saying so I totally understand Callan finding out that Lelouch is actually zero was devastating to her I don't know why that kind of threw me off a bit because it's like it's a shock there's the shock you know there's a shock value to it for her um but also I don't understand why the breaking down in tears like I can understand her being shocked but the tears is is just like I don't get like her finding out about Lelouch like maybe you guys can help me to understand why she would be so emotionally you know what I'm saying finding out it's Lelouch um her feeling used I understand it's just or maybe it's because she, she felt used why she's crying maybe that's the issue maybe i just answered my own question you know so um just me understanding the perspectives of of these characters is awesome agent orange seems agent orange came back talking about all hail britannia and that started to become a little annoying him saying that every time he came on the scene you know he's totally brainwashed they were doing some sort of experiment on him and I don't know if I should say he's nuts. I'm curious to see who Vivi is. Um, is she another witch? 
she hasn't displayed any powers so i don't know but she's definitely the one that told um told suzaku about the gia's power he doesn't know he didn't know that it was lelouch I mean, he suspected of course most people would suspect it it's him but you know it is what it is he left the black knights to do to basically um fend for themselves will they ever trust him again i don't think so um also the situation with cornelia him using the gears on cornelia to find out about his mom she doesn't know she was taken away she was basically take taken away or she was ordered by marianne i don't know why she was called marianne the flash like that's intriguing to me it kind of reminds me of the lore that was built up behind madara before we actually saw him this kind of reminds me of that it's not the, the same but it just reminds me of they keep talking about his mom as if she you know what i'm saying and then she has a nickname which is marianne the flash which is like was she you know what i'm saying like i don't know why they call her that like to call somebody have a nickname like the flash you got to be some sort of badass in some sort of way like nobody's just gonna throw that behind your name you know what i'm saying just just willy-nilly so there's got to be something more to that story that we don't know but she sent cornelia away um, so Lelouch is asking the question, like, did she know she was going to get attacked that night? Um, basically, Cornelia is revealed that basically that the only person that really knows what happened to his to his mother is the emperor. He's sitting back just laughing his ass off at everything that's going on. I mean, I didn't expect the whole the whole situation that happened at the um at the, the stadium or whatever when where they were were supposed to basically come together and have an agreement which is Lelouch was wanted to do the agreement but he used his gears on Yuffie by mistake I didn't expect it to happen like that but that's how it is that's that's what happened you know I expected them to have some sort of grand plan behind how to get rid of these Japanese all at once but wow Yuffie gave that order and they stepped on the gas they killed I'm pretty sure they killed everybody in that freaking stadium or wherever they were. I'm pretty sure every all the Japanese in there died. Um, it was a massacre, genocide. It, I mean, oh my God, it was brutal. Um, and then Yuffie died. Um, basically, Lelouch had to kill her, um, or I should say Zero. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, so many things happen in these five episodes, man. But it was awesome to end the season like that. Because now it's like, on a morality standpoint, you now has, the viewer has to look at it and be like, man, if I was really in that situation, does it make me powerless to do anything? Should I stay in a powerless state and not do anything? Who was right? Was Lelouch right? Was Suzaku right for doing what he did? You know what I'm saying? Did he do it for the sake of his... Of, of his sister did he do it for the sake of his mother did he do it for the sake of his um family you know what i'm saying his mom being killed he, you know does did he want back the family status you know what i'm saying is it was he driven by hate we have to hack that question now as the audience because we're like damn i don't even know this is kind of a it, it's kind of like you're you're looking at yourself and like if you take this seriously and draw parallels from it and not just take it for entertainment this is actually for you to actually evaluate even things that you do in real life like should i have treated my friend that way you know what i'm saying should i have helped him in that situation or should i should you know what i'm saying like it causes you to have a, to stir up your thoughts and stir up your mind i love stuff that does stuff like this to me um because it helps me to think and it and this also can help you to make better decisions in life you know um looking at to to actually be able to think before you act because you know you just thinking that you're doing the right thing it just might not be the right way to do that right thing you know what i mean so that's what I love about this anime, man. It w it was awesome. It was definitely it the the first season 
definitely got me hooked on this series. I got to see everything that it's doing now. Um, I know at first when I started this, a lot of people was like, who likes that anime? Nobody likes that anime. No, no. What are you talking about? It's the worst. You know, it started out good and then it ended terrible. No. You know, if certain people would, would actually sit down and watch something for what it is and stop comparing it to other things. People do this also with the with the Boruto, sh Boruto show. I, even though I have not watched the anime yet. A lot of people that you hear talk about Bar Boruto is like, oh, it's trash. It's not Naruto. Um, It's not Naruto. Yes, it's got the, the Naruto moniker to it, but it's not. It's, it's not Naruto. So I can't start watching that show and start comparing it to Naruto because it's not. It's a different show. Yes, he's in it and, it, and it's about his son. But we have to enjoy his journey, which is Boruto. We have to enjoy his journey journey and you know of course they're gonna throw fights here and there with naruto sasuke the ogs you know what i'm saying to pulling to pull for nostalgia for the older fans of the series and stuff like that they're gonna do that you know for fan service whatever you want to call it they're gonna do those things because they know they got the og um naruto lovers that love the series but i just i just don't like when people do that you know what i'm saying compare one thing with the other when it it's a totally different end entity you know what i'm saying it's like it's something should be everybody should be able to stand as an individual and that goes for entertainment also if it's not if it's a spin-off of something that came before it why is that was weird my camera just My encoding overloaded. What what is this thing talking about? OBS tripping right now. Anyways. Um anyways. Yeah, but that as I was saying, it's just it's for you to take things as individual entities. It is not for you to to look at it from the perspective of oh, this it came from that, so it should be as good. No, that don't mean it's gonna be as good. Spin-offs um should be considered something of their own it's a new story it could be a completely new person writing the show you can't expect it to be the same and as i said they're going to use references from the series that it's um that's uh preceded it to you know pull in the audience to pull in the older people that has been watching the series for years they're going to do that so um but you have to take shows for what it is you don't take this and compare it to another anime. Take it for what it is. Try to understand what the writer is trying to show you in this specific thing, in this specific anime, in this specific TV show, in this sp specific movie, right? You can't judge it based on movies past. If it's like, I could use an example of the MCU, right? The MCU is supposed to be... A all out story everything is connected right so in terms of that yes you can compare it and say oh this mcu movie sucked this one didn't suck as much and this one you know even though all of them is continuing the story it's just like this actor doesn't fit this role or they could have gotten a better person to play this role or whatever the situation is in that terms you can be a critic but don't say that the Oh, it's not as good as this one or it's not as good as this one. I could tell you that up until this day, I still think that the first one is probably the best movie that Marvel made, to be honest. And and the thing about it is is that people don't understand that Iron Man um, Iron Man one started it all, the first Iron Man. And it was to me, in my eyes, is still one of the best Marvel movies that they put out. It still is. Everything was was great about that movie so when it comes on to to anime when it's different i don't want to hear people saying oh this it sucked because it's not like this or it sucks because it's not like this you know what i mean that's stupid that's stupid because i'm not going to say oh um i'm always comparing if i'm talking about dragon ball i'm comparing it to itself i'm always saying that oh the story of Dragon Ball is non-existent 
anymore. There's no story to it. There's nothing to it. It's all about fighting now. You know what I mean? Like I'm comparing it to itself. You know what I mean? So um, with Naruto, I'm going to compare it to itself. I'm watching Naruto. But Barto, I'm not going to compare it to Naruto because I know it's not going to be the same series. Kishimoto is overlooking it, overseeing it, but he's not the one writing the show. You get what I'm saying? It's a totally different person writing the show in respect of who preceded him. Of course, he's going to consider the guy, right? But it's, it's, it's all good. You know what I mean? Like nobody's sitting here saying, oh, um, this is better than this or this is better than this. I hate when people compare anime and, you know, it's fun to see people do power scaling and all that good stuff. I love it. You know, I love it, man. I love to see power scaling, but at the same time, you know, when people ask me about it, I'm like, I'm not going to get deep into those conversations because in in retrospect, they're kind of dumb when you're talking about like um, cross, you know, cross comparing where you say, oh, could Goku beat Naruto? It's two different universes. Could Naruto beat Luffy in a fight? It's two different universes. I can't determine that. There's no way for me to determine that. Um, objectively yes you can go deep into science and talk about references from this and that and whatever and it's fascinating to see these power scalers online do it I watch those videos you know what I'm saying it's fascinating but I will never sit down and argue with that guy for what it's useless you get what I'm saying like it, it it's it's useless for me to compare and say you know you know um, Naruto would beat Ichigo like <laughs> It's useless because who knows? You know what I'm saying? Who knows what could possibly happen because this is, it has never happened, right? They've never fought, really. You know what I'm saying? If the authors decide to come together and say, oh, let's put all of these guys into one world, then we can have something to actually compare and be objective and subjective about, right? So... It's definitely, that's how I look at things, guys. And I went too deep. But this was the last episode of Code Geass, man. So I had to go in a little bit. Um, because this really stirred up some things in my brain. Um, but, man, it was a ride. Thank you guys so very much. Look out. We're going to start Season 2 or whatever. R2 or whatever next week. Um, so, look out for that. Um, definitely, definitely love this series, guys. And thank you guys for supporting it. Um, you guys have overwhelmed it. I didn't expect it to be this good. Um, not the show itself. I'm talking about the support, but it was there. You know how many views are getting like, I'd say on average about a hundred views per, um, reaction. So it was pretty good. I liked it. I, I really did. Um, so just keep the suggestions coming. Eventually, I'll get to all of them. So, thank you guys for watching as always. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on this video if you like my review. Let me know what you think in the comment section of my thoughts in the review. And also, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Peace.